Away from that, the Parliamentary Forum on Children's Affairs have organized a second national children's parliament, whose focus is a call to end child hunger and malnutrition. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, is the chief guest at the event, which is attracting children from different schools. The event is happening now at Parliament. Let's listen in to the Deputy Speaker's speech. In the Parliament of Uganda, the rules allow the Speaker to invite special visitors to come and address the House. And uh, when they come, they remain visitors. They are not part of that House. So I thank you for giving me this opportunity to come as a visitor to the August House of the Children. The theme for this parliament is a very critical one. We are all one's children. I must first tell you that you young children, we as parents, we love you. We love you. And we are proud of you. Because you're the ones who complete our lives, who give us joy, who make us work harder for the future, who, who make us wake up early to think about you, to think about the country we are going to live for you. Sometimes we can be overzealous and we make some mistakes here and there, but they are not intentional. The destination we are always looking at is where are we going to leave our children? I'm a father of uh, a six-year-old boy, and he's already asking me very difficult questions. Of like, Dad, you look sad. What's the problem? I see you also care so much about us. I think the moment you go home and you find your parents are not happy, you feel more sad, isn't it? Yes, and, but that's how we also feel for you. Because I don't think any reasonable parent would even go to bed and sleep comfortably if their child is not happy. I see situations when Mama Awol, Beatrice Awol, when I'm sad, she asks me, she says, my son, what's the problem? Don't allow the world to stress you. Because I qualify to be her son. Now, even you who qualify to be my children, that's how I feel for you. And that's how these colleagues in the strangers and visitors gallery feel for you. We feel for you. So I don't want you to think on any single day that we don't cherish you, we don't value you, we neglect you. No. That's why you see now the president gave you someone whom I know is very, very passionate about young people, the Honorable Baram. You should invite him at, a, at your school, he visits you. Eh? He's, he's very, very good with children. We are all good, but he's extra good with children. So I want to thank the Honorable colleagues uh, who are visiting the parliament you are seeing here. These are some of the colleagues who are very passionate about children affairs. And honorable colleagues, I must say, honorable Margaret Mako and your team, I'm proud of you, honorable colleagues. I'm proud of you. Super, super proud of you. Because yesterday we left Parliament late. It's, uh, it's been a hectic week. But even on a Friday when you would be rushing to talk to your families and what, you say, but this is part of my family. Here they are discussing issues to do with my children I've left at home. And you've been able to come and listen to these young and beautiful souls. It's very, very important that uh, the issues they are raising are issues about our families, about our happiness, and about our completeness. I have listened, and especially the theme you have about hunger. I grew up with my grandmother and I'll be celebrating on Sunday. My parents gave me to my grandmother when I was six years old. Sometimes we could cook once a week. And 
I've never had food that is sweeter than that. Because the food we eat are children. It's not about the type of food. It's not about the meat. It's not about, but it's about the love that comes with it. It can be posho and beans, but it comes with a smile from your mother. You see it as a toy. My grandmother we use it to cook sweet potatoes in a pot. And I can tell you, you will never, I just see you people, you go to Sheraton Serena and you eat sweet potatoes. Those are, that's rubbish. The sweet potato is that one cooked in a pot.